Welcome Super Fun Stuff. In this print and paint video, we pick possibly the easiest character to paint. However, we're going to spice them up a bit and make them a little more interesting. So who should we make today? This character is a very powerful alien who has strong feelings about protecting life and freedoms. He has scorned the universe for worlds and has been a reason for both destroying and saving them. He may not say cowabunga, but he's still a pretty radical guy. So without any more clues, who do you think it is? And the answer is Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer made his debut in the Fantastic Four comic and was the Herald of Galactus. His job was to seek new worlds for Galactus to consume. However, when he comes to Earth, Silver Surfer has a change of heart and instead turns on Galactus. Silver Surfer had his own comic book layer in which he would learn more about his past. Silver Surfer's real name is Norn Rad, and when he comes from the planet, Zen Law. It was a utopian type world with tons of technology, no crime, disease, etc. However, this plant was invaded by Galactus, and the only way to save it was Norn to make a deal with the Galactus to become his herald. From here is how Norn turns into the chrome-plated superhero and begins his job seeking out new worlds for Galactus to feast upon. Silver Surfer wields the power Cosmic, which is basically making him a near godlike entity, and he obviously rides a space surfboard. So which models should we print? There are surprisingly more 3D models of Silver Surfer out there than I thought. However, most of them aren't free. But this one by Sam T on MyManyFactory.com is really cool. Silver Surfer is a fairly basic character, so having him in a cool pose like this is really what makes it. Basically, we see him surfing the cosmic waves in this model, so let's use this one. The model printed out pretty nicely. The only thing I noticed was that on the surfboard there was horizontal stripes. Not really sure why, maybe a mesh thing, but it still looked nice and clean, so I went with it anyways. So Silver Surfer may be the easiest character to paint. He is silver, that's it. This means we need to make the base a little more interesting for him. I take this longer 40k base I had that's normally used for heavy support weapon teams. And I want to make that base is more cosmic. Let's make Silver Surfer feel like he's flying through space. The first thing I do is I take my chameleon pigments and brush it all over the top. I pick a purple and pink type color. If you didn't see the last video, these pigments are actually for fingernails, and they've really impressed me. Now we have a black base with a little shine. Still way too boring. I take my bottle of extra resin that I normally use to fix 3D prints, and I start to make small and large bubbles. If you cure the resin quickly enough, you can retain the bubble shape. So I take my time to make a series of bubbles all over the top of the base. Also, make sure you open a window when you do this, it has a gross smell. I go all over with this and I have the base with clear bubbles with a little bit of shine underneath. Overall, it looks pretty neat, but it wasn't as vibrant as I wanted. But I figured to try something new, I add more pigments to the top of the resin. I take a cool blue and purple and mix them on the top. What I found is that the pigments stick to the resin really well. Paint works pretty good, but the resin almost sticks as good as glue. Plus, when you use two colors of pigments, you can almost effortlessly blend them in. And here's what I got. This looks awesome. Now let's paint the Silver Surfer. First I apply a good coat of primer. Then I go in and paint my one color, the silver. I do go back and paint a second coat of silver just to make it a real solid color. But how do we attach the Surfer on the base? I could just lay him on there, but that looks kind of stupid. I decided to do the same resin technique and build up an area towards the back. It takes a little time to make it tall enough, but it was simple to do. Now it is, how do I want the Silver Surfer to sit? I take my base and model and kind of test fit it to see what pose I would look best. I think I get a good plan of attack, so I put a small drop of resin on the bottom of the surfboard. I place him on the base and cure it right away. I use a small amount of resin just in case I need to readjust him or I messed up. This is almost like a quick tack weld using resin kind of thing. Then I go in and start to fill up the areas with more resin and bubbles. I also add a little underneath the board. I take my larger UV light and make sure that all of it's cured underneath. Now we're in the home stretch. I have this blue green purple pigment that I like a lot. I notice that this pigment goes on very light and only gives subtle accents to certain areas like the silver. So on the silver surfer, I go around and put this on. This is to replace the use of washes so I didn't have to make them look darker, but I want to make them look brighter. Then to finish off the base, I apply the same purple and blue pigments to connect the resin pieces. Same as before. In the last step, a gloss varnish on everything. I want him shiny. And Silver Surfer is complete. Since he is a real basic model with a single color, the base is what really sets it apart. I went with blues and purples to give off a more space feel. Also the hint of color on the Surfer almost gives a reflection type look. 
Even simple models like this can be fun and made to look amazing in the end. Plus I'm really digging these nail pigments and finding good uses for them. For my next video we're going to shy away from the shiny stuff but continue painting more Marvel minis. This is another simple one but I'm excited to make this guy. He is a big guy, super strong, super durable, but not always the brightest. He is a criminal who has fought the likes of Spider-Man and the Hulk. He also likes to run a lot and had a really stupid movie debut. I'll let you think who he is. I hope you liked this video, let me know what you thought in the comments. Thank you to all my patrons and supporters and thank you for watching.